Hi guys, welcome to this video. My name is Chris, and this is Raid Shadow Legends for the playthrough guide. Um, so we just literally just uh, logged on, got some energy to collect. We're on day six at the minute, and I'm taking it a bit slower to kind of get through this because I'm kind of having to do other things, you know, work and uh, a bit of streaming and uh, other videos getting in the way. Um, so we're currently on day six. We haven't made um, a, a good, a decent amount of progression, but hopefully you guys would have kind of like surpassed where I'm at currently um, by just do, doing everything that's kind of recommended in these videos um, okay so we've got a new uh, a new pop-up that's come up there's a Valentine's champions and more uh, so it's just telling us that there's gonna be some more champions in raid some new legendaries uh, some new epics and some new rares and there is gonna be a fusion event coming up over this weekend um, where we're going to be able to um, be able to a a fuse a new legendary champion, and I'm assuming it's going to be one of the new champions that we're going to be able to get. Uh, which also means because they've added all these champions in there, we're probably going to have to get most of these champions to be able to, to fuse that champion. Um, but details of that haven't come out yet, so that's just uh, presumptions. Um, so um, patch 1.13 has just. Uh, it dropped yesterday, um, so this is kind of uh, adding. So the layout might look a little bit different f uh, from the previous videos. Uh, we've got this new uh, battle pass icon down here, and the quests and challenges are kind of merged together in a little pop out menu. Um, so, in our state of play at the minute, uh, we've got two things that we can cover. Um, which we haven't gone over yet. Uh, one is gem gems and spending your gems, um, which uh, actually I'll, I'll do that in, an, in another video after this. But I kind of just want to address the battle pass in this video um, because it's something important to uh, kind of getting started and uh, progressing your account that a little bit further. Um, as is a free to, free to play guide, we're just going over the free to play aspects of this. Um, and um, like after I've finished these few little getting started videos, I'm just gonna do like a video with a quick summary, uh, just to like combine everything, kind of like uh, you know what to do first to prioritize it a little bit. So hopefully give you guys a quicker starting video, um, so you don't have to go through all these videos to get like the full, um, you know, range of what you need to do. You can just watch this one video and it'll be nice and quick, and you'll be able to jump straight in. Um, so, uh, let's go over the battle pass. This is going to be something that you're going to want to incorporate into your gameplay from now on. And this is basically uh, a season to Raid Shadow Legends. Uh, currently the first season, season 1, is lasting 8 weeks. So we're a few days in. Um, we started off on level 1. We got our level 1 reward. And then we started doing some daily, daily challenges. These were uh, these are the fresh ones today, and um, like the ones we did yesterday, kind of. Uh, I don't know if it was intentional, but it was it was this one: claim all playtime rewards. And um, which, because when we loaded up the the patch, we already had some playtime rewards collected, so that wouldn't count towards getting this goal. So we only got. Um, so as you can see, you get five points for completing all these. So we only got 15 points yesterday. Um, so that's why we're 15 out of 20 at level one. Um, so this is the the free version of the top, the silver one. And there's a, a paid battle pass that you can get, which is the gold version at the bottom. These have um, much better rewards. Um, mainly one of the biggest ones that stand out to me is the uh, experience gain uh, so you can get like by purchasing the battle pass you can build up to an extra 50% experience um, and silver as well 50% experience and silver gain um, while these are active throughout the whole throughout the whole game um, also there are some other main um, perks to get in the battle pass which is the champions that you can collect as well um, but yeah, as a, this is a free-to-play guide, so we're just going to do the free-to-play stuff. Um, okay, so with each season, we're going to have 100 levels. Um, 
which was a bit worrying at the start because it uh, level one is kind of again this first level it's uh, twenty points. Um, but you'll quickly be able to see after we pass this and get into level two, it's going to be ten points from then on. Um, and it was kind of explained that you already you start off at level one, so you're kind of given a free level, so that's why extended into. Uh, which isn't really the case because the first to get to level two it's 20 points which is essentially two levels worth of points um so after we get these next five points we'll be able to see it goes to 10 points from then and then there's 100 levels in this uh but in this season in this battle pass in the free to play battle pass uh so um, and if each of these levels are going to be 10 points, that all means we need to get a thousand points to be able to get level 100 to get us uh, Ancient Tomb. Um, which I did a quick calculation, judging by these calculations, if we do the daily challenges every day, we should be able to rack up 1,120 points, which should just be enough to cover what's needed to get all of these rewards. Um, so we're just going to have like a little little glance over these rewards to see what kind of things you can expect hopefully you guys have jumped in this from the start and you can start um afresh if you jump into this in a few weeks from now and um, you're not gonna be able to collect everything obviously unless you you pay to to jump ahead <coughs> so um we start off on the first one we've got some shard well we got a shard we got an ancient shard there energy refill and an experience uh, banner as well which is always always welcome and as we move up, we're getting more energy, keys, um, three brews, some chickens as well, which is nice. Potions, gems, silver. And it's gonna kinda like um, you know, kinda like repeat all that stuff. So energy, another shard, key, brews, and then we get um uh, uh armor pieces as well. So we got like a full set here of uh, attack, and this is five star epic gear. Um, so this could be good. If it rolls okay, then it, it, then it's even better. But at least you know with this, uh, you're always going to get three pieces of gear that potentially that are more than often like pretty good, such as the weapon, um, the headpiece, and the shield. Uh, because you don't need to rely on their main stat to roll. It's always that flat um, attack, HP, and defense. Whereas if on the gloves, the chest, and the boots, um, a lot of the time these are going to be trash rolls which you could just sell uh, hopefully we'll get lucky and get some percentage gear on them um and then we've got an xp banner again on date on level 15 and again it's just repeating the chickens go up so you get a four star chicken um a hp set which is also nice and then we've got some glyphs as well some four star glyphs uh, more gems shards energy keys and then a speed set which would be pretty nice um, another four star chicken, silver, energy, epic tome, uh, another attack set, this one's six star so that's that's even better, XP banner, gems, silver, um, this is three champion, can we see her, uh, so brave chill killer, looks pretty nice um, and she's got some uh, skills here I think the I don't know if they've fixed this yet <laughs> I don't think they have okay uh, so uh, the a1 is attack one enemy has a 40% chance of placing a 5% poison debuff for one turn so poison champion nice it's gonna be worth it for free to play because you'll be having this champion which will be like applying poisons which will be useful for uh, clan boss very to ability attacks one enemy has a 75% chance of placing a 30% decreased defense debuff for two turns has a 75% chance of placing a 60% decreased defense debuff instead of the targets under a poison debuff um so that's nice so as long as this poison's up you're going to be decreasing the defense by 60% uh, and that goes up to 100% if you skill her out and goes down to three turns which is super nice even more benefit for the um, for the clan boss, getting that defense down, doing more damage to the clan boss. And then there's a passive skill. Icy Veins. So a 5 turn cooldown goes down to 3. 
Attacks one enemy two times. Each hit places a 2.5% poison debuff for two turns. Places a 5% poison debuff instead if the target is under a poison sensi sensitivity debuff. Um, <clears throat> okay. So, like, does this just activate every five turns? I'm unsure. It kind of is described as a skill, but then it's on the passive on a five turn cooldown. Um, but yeah, the, maybe it just activates every five turns. Um, okay, so this poison sensitivity is a new debuff that's come out with the with the patch with the one point one three patch. So there's a few new debuffs and a few new buffs as well for your champions. Um, and that poison sensitivity is one of them. Okay, so let's carry on some more stuff, some more um, armor sets. And then you get the avatar for the champion at level 55. Some superior potions. And then we get a void shard at level 60, which is nice. Another free void shard. Uh, another gear, another speed. This is a six star uh, speed set. And some more XT, XP banners. Some more shards. And then we get six star epic attack set. More glyphs. More chickens. Five star chicken, always nice. Gems. And that, like the five star chicken there, is going to save us so much energy and grinding um, to level up those champions. And then an epic HP six star set. <laughs> XP banner. Potions, gems. And oh, we get, a, we get an epic champion as well, which is Ursin Ironhide. Skinwalkers, defense. Okay, that's pretty nice. Uh, okay, so is uh, A1 attacks one enemy has a 35% chance of increasing the cooldown of one of the target's skills by one turn at random. Okay, so that's a pretty good uh, extra utility to his A1 attack. Uh, all of these attacks are based off defense, so more more survivability and uh, damage by just applying loads of defense to the champion. Uh, his A2 ability attacks one enemy two times. Each hit has a 75% chance of decreasing the turn meter by 5%. Decreases the turn meter by 10% instead if the target is under a decreased attack debuff. Um, okay, so that's that's pretty nice, and that can go up to that goes up to 100% as well, and it can skill up to a three turn cooldown. Um, so yeah, so it, as long as the target has a decreased attack, you can get a 20% de uh, de decreased turn meter on them. With the skill, which is which is pretty nice, and then the A3 attacks all enemies has a 75% chance of placing a 50% decrease attack debuff for two turns, and that's where kind of that plays into it. So this goes down to, can be uh, skilled to four turns, and 100% chance as well of placing 50% decrease attack. So that's really nice. He skilled the champion up. He's going to go in there, attack all enemies, decreasing all their attack. And then using the second skill to do uh, to reduce the turn meter, as well as doing some nice damage. And there's a passive skill as well, Earth's in Brutality. Each hit has a 50% chance of decreasing the target's turn meter by 7.5%. Each hit also has a 50% chance of putting one of the target's skills on cooldown if the target is under a decreased crit rate debuff. Oh, okay, um, and that goes up to 100% as well. So, and this is a um, a passive skill. It's a passive skill, right? Um, so this is going to be on all attacks. Um, okay, so uh, decrease crit rate debuff. That's also one of the new debuffs that are introduced into the game. Um, I don't know which champions have this yet. Um, but yeah, that's that's a nice champion, and that's uh, free as long as you carry on putting these points in on a daily basis, and you get to level ninety. Um, so that's a pretty nice reward for a free-to-play player. Um, so yeah, definitely worth getting. And then as we carry on, more energy keys, and then we get the epic six-star speed armor. Which is always, like guaranteed like w at least one piece of those is going to be usable in all of these sets uh, especially the speed and attack ones so you know like bonus there uh, gems 
energy and finally at level 100 there's an ancient skill tome um so yeah uh, and this is all uh, free as long as you put your dailies in get those points up and then you can claim all these rewards and that's a nice additional bonus for free to play players um obviously if you were to pay and get uh, get the actual the gold battle pass then there's so much more uh, in here obviously there's the the 50 increase uh, experience gain um and there's like a lot more like gems uh, you know, twice, twice the chickens, more skill books, just, just, just a lot more. Plus, you get a few more champions. You get this champion, which we didn't have uh, in the free one. This is Ursin Ice Crusher. We're not going to go over his skills because we're not going to be getting this guy from um, this part of the game. And it, you also get the advanced uh, uh, armor armor sets, where it's got like speed and HP. Uh, which is always nice. You get an ancient skill tome here at level 40. 100 gems. Um, 5 star glyphs. 100 gems. 2 shards. Some more. Uh, some more decent set pieces. Another champion. The Stag Knight. Which has a really nice passive. Um, Place a 50% increase accuracy buff on, on an ally for one turn each time that ally has a debuff resisted by an enemy. That's just passive, so if you miss applying a buff, you're going to get 50% increase accuracy on your, on yourself, on that champion. Uh, but the other thing is it lasts for one turn, so unless they've got another skill that's going to apply more debuffs, then yeah, it's not going to be too great, but you know, always worth a champion worth playing, playing around with if they've got like unique skills such as that one. Um, more, more gems, another hundred gems, more shards. Uh, you know, same kind of stuff, but you just get more ancient tomes in this. Yeah, you, you just get a lot more. You get, you know, you're paying for this. So you, you, you're expecting to get a lot more. And there's the twenty percent ex experience bonus, which comes at level ninety. So really, you only get like a, a little bit of time to play around with that. If you buy the gold pass to get the full, um, full amount of XP buff. Um, but there are other options with the gold pass, like you can actually buy levels as well. Uh, so there's one that comes up um, as soon as you go into it, which is buy the gold pass with 25 levels. So you don't really have a head start. It just gets you closer, close to the end. It allows you to keep that experience buff for it for longer. And then finally, level 100 on the gold pass is the new legendary champion, uh, Walrim Frost King. Now this guy looks absolutely sick. I won't go through this guy, but he's nice. Very nice. I think I might have to do him on my main, maybe. Um, yeah, so <laughs> that's the battle pass. It's the same thing as kind of like doing your dailies. You get daily challenges. This is where you get your points. You get uh, up to 20 points per day. And then you know, this goes towards your level, your ranking. Some of them may be a little bit more difficult to get done, but you should be able to do these. I think... Uh, like the hardest one for me is claim all playtime rewards uh, that means staying on the game for two hours because i've got so many accounts um yeah i kind of have to focus on which accounts i want to get this for um but you know if this is your only account this is going to be nice and easy so to get spend that time in game and you know you can dip in out and different times throughout the day to help that build up um there is another tab on up here called weekly challenges um, where you will see this uh, pop up and the more, more stuff you do the more these fill up but this is only for gold uh, battle pass members only so it's free to play we don't get these weeklies they appear on there we get shown what they do and um, but we don't get to you know, check them in we don't get to get these points for that um, and they get some rewards for doing these as well once you've completed all the weeklies you get an extra reward, reward. Um, obviously we can't see what all the other ones are but there's that extra added bonus for gold players so they can get their levels up much quicker but anyway we are free to play we are just sticking to the daily challenges and i kind of need to get that one done um so let's just sell five artifacts uh just to give you show you guys quickly do we have five we have five artifacts to sell 
Okay, so we're just coming in here, sell all our, our low rank ones. Get that silver back, and that's show up on there just like the normal uh, dailies will pop up. And then we can go to our daily challenges, uh, claim these five points, and then it's going to tell us that we've reached uh, battle pass level two. And we can collect this. And they're just going to also, I'm going to just do this now because I've got so much energy. We need to use it. So we're going to collect. That's just telling you you can buy the battle pass and get these rewards. We're just going to collect our free to play. It's going to be added to our energy. Um, and as you can see, level two, to get the next level, we only need 10 points. So we can level up again today, um, which we'll be doing a little bit later and just kind of get another level in there. Um, yes, yeah, so that's it. So while you're leveling up, um, keep the battle pass in mind and try and add that to your to your like daily routine as well. So we've got our daily quests here, which I still need to do, and then you've got your battle pass daily challenges here as well. Um, all the while, while you're still leveling up, while you're still uh, checking these challenges to make sure you're kind of like meeting these as well. Um, and while checking out your missions and see if we can pass any of these uh, so we've done this one click on that um so yeah all right so that's it for this video uh, just another thing to consider when you're doing uh your leveling when you're starting up when you're grinding out your champions in campaign be aware of these things as well and try to make that effort just to get these battle uh, past dailies and daily quests because that's gonna give you a load more resources to help uh yeah, keep grinding and boost your champions. Uh, so thanks very much if you got this far in the video. If you liked any of this content, if it helps you at all, then please hit that like and subscribe button and hopefully see you again in the next video. Just one little quick thing. As a free-to-play player, um, this is just by going for the knowledge that I know so far. There are these like double things, but I'm assuming they're stretched out just to fit everything on there. So hopefully everything should be 10 points per level. Um, but we'll find out once we get to like one of these like clearly 16 doesn't need to be that big maybe that's going to be 20 points <clears throat> again I don't know until we get there but we'll soon see um, according to what's been said all free to play free to play players should be able to reach 100 without purchasing anything yeah, but you know this is Polarium so we'll see anyway guys thanks again hopefully see you guys in the next video take care